Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to do Lin Chapter 8, Vortex of Strategy. So to summarize the previous chapter, we had a professional assassin who lured in Lin's group with a ring and then killed himself for me. So we got a lot the, the enemies can really build a lot upon that, I think. So he has so the evil Lord Lundgren now has some other assassin waiting. But they have a super killer top secret weapon. I'm just going to say what it is. It's a ballista. Basically it's a giant bow. There, spoiled the whole chapter for you. You can stop watching now. I'm just kidding. Please don't stop watching. <laughs> Lady Co Oh yeah, that's right, I'm a girl. I chose a girl. I chose to be a female this time, that's right. Two more days. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Cheer up, Lindus. This happy music should make you feel so much better. It's the epic music again. Something must be happening. A giant bolt. See, the thing is, when the enemy stands still, they lose. But when Lin stands still, she wins. She could have died there, but she stood still. Clearly the enemies have no accuracy whatsoever. I like how it says only archers can use them. I mean, all you gotta do is pull a freaking bolt back and shoot it. And let it go. How can, it, how can only archers use it? Like, seriously. I guess if they didn't have that specialty, then archers would be completely useless in this game. They're already pretty useless already, but whatever. So just like bows, uh, Pegasus Knights are really weak to Ballista, obviously. So we're going to rush the Ballista, basically. See, the thing is, it's ironic because most people will probably just hunker down and wait for the ballista to be done, firing all its bolts, and by the point of the time that happens, Matthew's, he's got some stuff to take care of. He's gotta go see his girlfriend or something, I don't know. Alright, but anyway, by the time you, if you, if you hunker down and the ballista has no more ammo, so if that's the case, there's no there's no point. There is just no point in having Will try to use it. In fact, I'm, I'm probably not even going to use Will. I don't really use archers. I just don't. Oh, that's right. He can't take part. Well, I guess I have no choice. I'll use Will. Let's see. So Matthew. All right. Give up your stuff. Who needs an iron sword? Anyone need an iron sword? Who needs an iron sword? Everyone needs an iron sword. Uh, good enough. Just give me an iron sword. All right, let's see here. I 
hammer. I'll give the hammer to Dorcas, but it has almost no point. There honestly is almost no point. I'm not using Dorcas, so I don't really care. Alright, I think I'm good to go. Yeah. I'm not too happy with my units so far, but we're not I'm not, I'm not that worried otherwise. So, so here's a ballista. It's got a lot of range. It covers almost a whole map, which is crazy. So the ballista's got a certain amount of ammo and it's got a certain power, but the archer behind it is really, really weak. So in this game and all the Game Boy Fire Emblem games, the ballista does not have a set amount of damage. It has a flat amount, and if you fire it, it, it factors in your strength. Whereas in, in the like the GameCube game, I think, is it GameCube? No, I think it's Radiant Dawn, the Wii Fire Emblem game, then it has a set amount of damage. So no matter how strong you are, it'll always hit for us. It'll only have a certain ceiling for damage. So we're gonna rush we're gonna rush this ballista as fast as we can. So who's let's see, Sane has defense. Sane's got the defense. So I'm gonna have him rush. And I'm gonna have someone visit this village in, in the meantime, eventually. So Florina can't really do much until the ballista goes down, so I'm just gonna put her in the back for now. But otherwise, I think that's we're good to go. So we will. We could actually see we could rush the ballista with Florina, but then she's vulnerable to counterattack from this archer, and I don't want to risk that. So we won't do that. It's an advanced strategy. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna save uh, here. No, I lost track of which which direction I was trying to record my saves. So I'll just do this one. We're going up now. Great. All right, here we go. Yes. Basically, it gives the archer immense range. That's really all it is. Another thing to notice is that if an archer is sitting on the ballista, like they're operating the ballista, they're, the ballista is really heavy to operate. So what that means... Oh yeah, ballista, you can also move a ballista while you're on it, but you exiting a ballista counts as the end of your movement, and, and getting on a ballista counts as the end of your movement too. Yeah, but it has limited ammo. That's, that's the one thing they don't tell you, is it has limited ammunition, so there's almost no point. Now, Nils is great, very good ballista bait. So I'm going to put Nils... So here's a strategy. I'm going to put Sane here, right? I'm going to have Nils flute him, right? So Sane gets extra movement. But Nils is in the forest, so he has immense avoid. He's got 57 avoid. And this guy only has, what, 76 accuracy? So he only has like a... Tw I can't do math. 20% chance? 20-ish? Yeah, like 19% or something like that. So let's have Sane basically hop between these forests and then run up and kill the uh, Ballista guy as soon as possible. That's our, that's our master plan right there. So Lucius is also in range. Um, I don't really care if Lucius is in range. <laughs> He's in a forest, and I can just heal him up anyway, so I don't really care. But we want to get to this fo this uh, village up here before this... Before There's a brigand that tries to run across here and destroy the village. And it's got a really good item, so we want to make sure we get there as soon as we can. Because we have Lucius, he can take care of these magic users, so I'm not worried. Right, there's a shop here. Let's see, who has no items? Will. What's in the shop? Nah, it's a bunch of stuff we don't need. Alright, so what's the range of this guy? So I'll put Florina at the tip of range. I might be able to have her rush the ballista um, if Sane needs some support, some aerial support. But uh, otherwise. 
We're just gonna make very slow movements forward. That's it. I'm gonna rush our meat shield. Who almost kills everything. Actually, he's not a meat shield. He's more of a... He wrecks everything. See? Nils is perfect ballista bait. Alright, so this mage made a pretty smart move. Unfortunately, it's not smart enough. Because Lucius is too strong. He's OP. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop forests. We're going to take out as many enemies as we possibly can. So we're going to start with this archer. So we can kill this archer. I would murder that archer. Wow, I got a critical hit. So we're going to rush here. Hop forests to, to minimize damage we take. Alright, defense. Excellent. So now he'll be he'll be tankier too. Okay, so Florina wants to fly down here to attack, but we still can't do that yet, unfortunately. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We can just leave him here, honestly. We'll just rush him next turn. Uh, let's see. Nils is great bait, but he needs to be able to play the flute. On someone. Uh, who shall it be? Who shall it? Who will be the sacrificial lamb to stand here and take a shot for the team? I oh, will do it. He's an archer. He should be able to dodge bolts, right? Maybe. Maybe not. All right. So these two. So Nils is in range for damage, but I'm not worried. He's not going to die. At least he shouldn't die. Actually, now I'm getting worried. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, now I'm getting a little bit worried. So let's put... Let's see. Someone has to be able to survive two hits. And it's not Florina. Or I can use Pro Tactics to rescue Nils. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'll do that. So let me plan this out carefully. So this is where taking your time can really come in handy. So I'm going to take... Let's see. Lucius is fine. He won't die. Nils is in danger. So I'm going to have Will rescue Nils. So now Will's okay. He's fine. So Nils is so freaking tiny that I can just have Sarah... I can have Sarah take him. Wow. That says a lot. Who sure is in range? One, two, three, four. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Is it? I think so. Yes, okay, perfect. So Nils is now safe. And Florina can now fight back without being targeted by the ballista. Excellent. Alright. I think we're good to go, actually. So just go ahead and end the turn there. They're nothing but fleas! Also, the word cur is used a lot as an insult. So, so Lord Lundgren sent an assassin. What they didn't tell you is that this assassin is a knight in big bulky armor. What a perfect assassin, right? Aw, oh, come on. Yeah, these... I'm really sad. These units are making me sad. Nils dodging, of course. Lucius is OP, and you die. Alright, so we have free reign to just destroy this guy. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright, Sane. Take him out, my man. Take him out. Alright, Ballista neutralized. And I think it has three bullet bolts left. But we don't really care about that, so we're just gonna we're gonna start advancing now. 
Assembly is just this way. Maybe I want to get to the the uh, town. Actually, I hope he gets to the town in time. We'll send Lin. Actually, we'll send Lin down. Uh, let's see. Let's yeah, wreck this fool. Heal her up. She's actually going to come in handy recent uh, in the next. Can I move Nils there? I can't. Darn it. That's okay. Just move Lin. But there are gonna be a bunch of soldiers that start spawning down here. These fortress these forts. So I'm gonna have someone hold them off. Dorcas is usually a good option, because he's an axe user, but I don't use Dorcas. Because he's honestly not that good, unfortunately. So we're gonna start taking taking a a stand right here. Lucius should be okay on his own. But just in case, I'll send Urk. Also. There we go. Here they come. So this is the one rare instance where enemies actually spawn at the beginning of their turn. So I'm actually going to neutralize this brigand. Before you can even reach the village. What can we do here? No one needs healing. So, I'm gonna move our flyer in. Sort of. I'm gonna try to. How far can she go? Let's throw her here. I really like Florina if she turns out good. So, I'm gonna try to use her. Give her some levels. See how she does. Give her actually give her an iron lance. She can out, she can double them. They're measly soldiers. I almost wish they could have given. They don't give you a, an ally soldier unit. So, I wish they could have. That way, it'd be, that'd be kind of funny. I just thought it'd be kind of funny to have that happen. All right, so let's take a look at these enemies. So they have special weapons. And they hurt. So these are reaver weapons. What these do is reverse the weapon triangle. So if you don't pay attention to enemy weapons here, you could be in for a rude surprise. And it is not fun to encounter a, a reaver weapon. It's like twice as effective if you're on the on the receiving end, and it's just it's it's not fun. But if you have one, it's plenty of fun, obviously. So let's see here. Alright, so these guys in the forts will move to attack me, so I got a plan around that. Yeah, there are a lot of soldiers. Yay! She got strength. So we can kill we can kill soldiers with like anything. But, we have to be careful of the range of the Reaver weapon guys, because they hurt. Use the Manicotti. Make your enemies hungry and kill them with food or something, I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. You notice you hear the noise, like, I'm gonna move between these enemies, you'll hear the noise of Florina moving. I found that interesting, I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out what kind of trigger would cause that. But anyway, we gotta be careful- oh wow. She does a lot of damage, holy heck. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... Lynn's gonna take a lot of damage, so we're gonna rescue her. Sit here in the forest. There we go. The rescue chain! The chain of rescuing, or whatever you want to call it. 
So who's injured? Anyone injured? Kent's injured. Can he move to attack me? No. Heal as much as we can. Or as little as we can. So, can, can Eric actually kill this guy? No? Good. Because I want Lucius to get the kills, because he's Lucius. Lucius is OP. No! I'm so close. That's okay. Just need to keep using Nils every turn whenever possible, so he gains levels. What level is he? He's only level 2? Oh gosh. I might have to sit for a while just raising his level. Because he needs it. Florina murdering some people. So I think that's the end of the reinforcements there. My cavaliers are plenty powerful. I don't want to give Will any more experience. So... Yeah. Ah, so see, you're supposed to go to this village before you go down to the boss. Because here's where they tell you about the Reaver weapons. Yeah. All rules are meant to be broken. So this Lance Reaver is a ridiculous weapon. It gives you 5 crit. It's pretty strong on its own. And it also reverses the weapon triangle. Poor old man can't use his sword. Plus it looks pretty cool too. Alright, just for fun, we're gonna have Will jump on the ballista. Cause, uh, I don't know, cause I can make him do that. <laughs> Just so I can demonstrate it, I guess, from a player perspective. So you can ride the ballista and hop on it. So now I have this huge attack range. I have three shots. So here's the stats of the ballista, right? It's got eight power. It weighs 20. That is so much. Look at Will's Avoid. It just taint completely. But it's got three to 10 range. So we're gonna use it we are going to... Actually, I don't like this guy. We're going to try to kill him. Because he's not fun. Uh, okay, so that, that, <laughs> that clearly failed. Give Lin some more experience. Have I rip him a new one? Okay, so now we're gonna move in. So let's see, I'm trying to figure out the best spots. Well, the mercenary can attack, but the soldier can't. Actually, I can have... I can use a sword. So you notice, this soldier has an axe reaver, right? Which means his lance is as strong as axes, but weak against swords. This guy's got a lance reaver, which means he's strong against lances, but weak against axes. So, so basically, what I can do is, uh, what, the way I remember the weapon triangle is, if you use a weapon like a sword. So, for example, basically, you you look at it and it's the opposite of what it is usually. So, an axe reaver. Is whatever so whatever the name of the weapon is, like in this case Lance Reaver. Um should be hold on a minute. Let me just double check to make sure I'm not spewing complete nonsense. So whatever the weapon starts with is what it beats. I don't know. I'm I'm not thinking I'm clearly not thinking straight, so I'm just gonna charge in somewhat recklessly next turn. But basically, what, the way I remember it, now I remember it, the way I remember it is, um, uh, for example, if you're up against a sword reaver, or a lance reaver, and an axe reaver, 
You look at what the, the class typically wields, so the mercenary wields a sword, right? The, the soldier wields a lance, so if you use a sword, you're fine, because sword will beat this guy, sword ties with this guy, right? If it is a sword, it's neutral against, this, against itself, if that made any sense at all. So we're going to do is we're going to take Sane. I already used Nils. Crap. Okay, we're going to take Sane next turn. And we're going to throw him in the brush. He's going to tank everything. With a sword. Alright, he'll be fine. Let's heal up. Yeah, I apologize for the lack of clear description. To give Nils an excuse to flute people. I'm just going to call it fluting people. That's what he does. He flutes people. That's typical. Typical Nils. And he gained HP, so I can heal him. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to end our turn here. So yeah, that guy, easy. This guy, though, is a little harder. Or maybe not. So we got to be careful. This guy will crush Lin. That's not something we want. But Florina will actually absolutely kill him. Even when he's standing on here. This is one case where Florina is strong against axes. Wow, that's amazing. Have Lynn get the kill. She will move scene up here. So Lynn's actually going to finish off the rest of the enemies after Florina kills the brigand. Because. Her sword, reaver, her sword is strong against the Axe Reaver, right? So the sword is usually weak against lances, but this is the Axe Reaver. It behaves like an axe. Or no. No, it behaves like a... I'm getting confused. It behaves like a sword. <laughs> it behaves like a sword. Yes. Behaves like a sword, it is a lance, and it's strong as axes. Alright, that's just too confusing. We're not even going to bother. I'm just going to go based on my memory of how these weapons work. Because it's just too confusing. Reaver this and reaver that. It's just really confusing. But that's okay. Flute people. Seeing it healed. So now, we'll... actually, no, we can't do that. And that's that. Ooh, we healed a whole, what, 4 HP? Didn't make any difference. So we're gonna cheat. We're gonna give Nils some more experience before we go in. And just bust this boss up completely. So the man the Manny Cotty is also strong against infantry, so she gains a double bonus against this guy. Not only is her weapon strong against it, but the Manny Cotty is super effective against knights. So this is just a complete joke. The ballista must have been taken. I finally realized this, even though I can see it from what, 15 squares away. Yeah, he's totally dead. Piece of cake. I think Lin level 1 could probably kill him, too. In one round. Oh, at least this guy had a better plan than uh, Bayard did in the previous stage. So this guy's the real assassin. And he's got a big clunky armor. Is it over? No. 
There's still tons of invisible enemies left on the screen, Lynn. You gotta go kill them. Ah, they're fighting their own kin. Hey, for once he's got a good solid point. So those brats came in handy after all. Hey, look who it is. A sniff about for information. That's an interesting image. Oh, the music got all serious. You gotta wonder, if you're if you're ill for three whole months, that's actually really serious. He's being poisoned? Nah, who could it possibly be? Gee, I wonder who it is. Gosh, say, say his name already. There we go. How can this be? How can this be? Well, like, how can this be? How can you not be aware that it's it's him poisoning him? I mean, come on. Are you really that thick, Lindis? There's always worse news, guys. It can't be! She's got a bed back in her gur, whatever she called it. Yeah, well, the face is not enough proof. one person who can prove very effective. Who is it, Lindis? Say his name. Alright, there we go. Alright, now it's starting to get interesting. Alright, so that was that. We dealt with the ballista. It wasn't too bad. We had some run-ins with some interesting weapons that we'll probably encounter in the future as well. So things are really heating up as we get into 
the second to last chapter in the next segment. So thank you very much for watching and tune in next time.